Well, hello, we're here today with Faithful Johannes at his home in Durham City. Uh, Johannes makes music that, that's been described as art rap and barely rap, and he's been labelled the Alan Bennett of hip hop. Uh, thanks for inviting us round, Johannes. Uh, is this where the magic happens? <laughs> um, no, I, not really. I kind of fumble a little bit. <laughs> Great. Um, so you vow to release a Christmas song every year until death. And how come you love Christmas so much? Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that I'm obsessed with anything. I'm not putting my Christmas decorations up on 1st of November or something. I quickly kind of put together my first solo single, which was called Merry Christmas, not, Let's Not Talk About the Incident. I kind of said, you know, I'm going to do one every year until I die. Um, and now I'm just caught in this um, annual stress cycle to kind of do one every year without repeating myself too much. Um, and I can't get out of it because of my own stubbornness. So it's more that than any kind of deep love of Christmas. <laughs> Great. So one thing that I've noticed when listening to these Christmas uh, songs on the train on the way here is that they all have a kind of negativity at their core. The first one was about a domestic incident and the second one seems to be about a breakup and being lost in a blizzard in a car, stuck in a car. And the third one was about people who don't like Christmas songs. Then last year's was about being alone at Christmas. And then this year's one appears to be a slightly bizarre diatribe against people who, like the majority of people, say Santa Claus rather than Father Christmas. And why do you hate Christmas so much? When you lay it all out like that, it does look pretty damning. I don't think that I hate Christmas. I find it stressful and I think a lot of people do and I think that's okay. Um, I think what you're putting out in my songs is probably just a, a, like my style and um, you know perhaps perhaps I need to uh, you know have a bit of a rethink you know. <laughs> Great. Right, what's your favourite Christmas song? Um, I'm not really a fan of Christmas songs I'm sorry. <laughs> Great. Um, so why don't you tell us about your new Christmas single? Yeah, so it's called I'll Always Call You Father Christmas and it's like a letter to Father Christmas asking why I only got one present off him where his friends at school would get lots. And a small part of it is also trying to say that I think we should say Father Christmas rather than Santa Claus. But if I'm totally honest, it's not something that I would uh, get into a fight over or anything like that. And it's out on uh, a seven inch single and that is out on Butterfly Effect Records as part of their single club. I think that's about it. I've got no more questions. Um, so I'll give the floor to you, Johannes, to play us out with your new Christmas song. I'll always call you Father Christmas. <laughs> um, so I didn't realise that was kind of part of the, the deal. Um, I, I, don't, I really don't feel confident with doing that. I was thinking maybe I could just play it on the phone. Okay, great. Um, well, I mean, I thought that was the purpose of us setting up like this around the piano and setting up all the sound and everything. Okay, but um, yeah, yeah okay. go ahead, go ahead. I'll always call you Father Christmas. It's what you wrote upon my gifts first. The dawning of the 25th looks great. Who needs a white Christmas? Day?